So it's that time of the month again where I'm on my period. <laughs> Just kidding. Hi guys. So it's that time of the month already. Time for a monthly favourites video. I feel like it was literally only a minute ago since I did the last one. I don't know where these months are flying off to, but they need to slow down. I haven't been doing any shopping, so I've not really been buying anything new. But I have been favouring some certain products this month. Probably just enough to give y'all a favourites video. So my first favourite of the month, and probably the most obvious, is my new hair. The dyes that I used are all Arctic Fox. The top colour is Purple Rain. This kind of middle purple colour right here is Violet Dream. The pink is Virgin Pink. Then lastly, the orange that I've been using is Sunset Orange. So those are defo my favourite new dyes to go with my new look. My next favourites go hand in hand with the last ones and that is eyebrows. I've still been using my NYX HD eyebrow primer but the pencils have had to change. I've been using the 805 Smart Pencil from Kiko and this is the purple colour that I've been using. So let me show you my brows. I've been using this purple pencil first and then this pink one at the front. This pink one is actually a lip liner. I think it's called like Smart Lip Liner 708. And then on top of that, I've just been using shadows from the Morphe Picasso palette. So from this palette for my new brows, I've been using this dark purple and then this bright pink. One of my favorite brushes that I've been using this month is this one. It's a pointed lip brush and it's from Royal and Langnickel and it's from the Moda collection. BMD 656. It's just amazing. I brought two in the sale and they were £1.50 each and I used one for like concealing under my brows, concealing my lips and then the other one I do use as an actual lip brush and it's just perfect. I think I might invest in a few more because I'm in love. Next, I've been using a new foundation and a new concealer. It is the Naked Skin Foundation and the Naked Skin Concealer. These are really, really good. I'd say that I actually prefer this concealer over my NARS one, which I never thought I would say. This one just gives off a lot more product on the applicator. I feel like with the NARS one, you have to like keep going with it until you've got enough on. Whereas this one, it's just like bang, bang, bang. There's just so much product there, just waiting to be blended out. The shade that I'm using in the Naked Skin Concealer is Fair Natural. And then the shade that I'm using in the foundation is 0.5. The foundation's not as full coverage as I would like it to be, but like with most of my foundations, I do just mix in some Kat Von D Light 44 and Light 42, because I feel like them two give me the coverage that I want, but I like to mix them with a sheerer foundation. I don't know why, I just never seem to use one foundation on its own. This one is actually really good to use on its own when my skin is looking a little bit clearer and I don't need that extra coverage. It is really nice, but generally I just tend to mix them all anyway. So I guess you could say that the Kat Von D foundations need to make it into a favourites video as well. I've got Light 42 and Light 44. Light 44 is just a little bit too yellow for my skin tone and Light 42 is just that little bit too pale. But I mix them together and it is literally a match made in heaven. I'm going to feature a couple of Kat Von D products in this favourites video this month because it's finally launched in the UK and you can now buy it from Debenhams. So yeah. If you're like me and you're into like hella thick foundations, if there's an inner drag queen waiting to get out, you are literally going to be obsessing over these foundations. This is another new product to me. Y'all have probably been using this for years and like, oh god, Emily is so far behind. Yeah, I know, but I've always used other primers and this is the first time that I've used this primer. It is the Urban Decay Original Primer Potion. And I've got to say, I'm loving it. It makes like the eye area look really smooth. It doesn't clump together. I was using um, Too Faced Eyeshadow Insurance and then I was also using one from MAC. 
and both of them after a while seemed to like kind of clump together and they didn't make the shadow look smooth they just I, d I can't explain it it didn't look clumpy it just looked like there was something underneath the eyeshadow it kind of looked like maybe if you have really dry skin and the foundation kind of sticks to it so you can kind of see that there's something underneath that's the only way I can explain what my eyeshadow was looking like but yeah long story short I'm really into this primer I love it this next product that I'm going to be talking about I don't think gets enough credit I think they're literally amazing they are the eye roll on shimmers from NYX the one in salmon is just incredible these would literally just transform any simple smoky eye into just some gorgeous glitzy dream I honestly think they're amazing I'm gonna swatch them on the back of my hand so y'all can see these are my three favourite colours. Just look at them. They are literally super intense, kind of foil, glitzy, shimmery shadows. They come in a roll-on stick and they just literally, with one swipe, they look like this. I just think these are so underrated. They are literally one of my favourite NYX products and I don't think they get enough glory. This one is salmon. This one is chestnut. And then this one is almond. So these are making it into my favourites because just look at them. <sighs> just shut me up and go buy them because they are literally the best thing ever. The next two products that have made it into my favourites video have pretty much radically changed my skin overnight. And I don't know, they've just gave me a lot more confidence to wear not as much makeup like I've actually been getting away with wearing the naked skin foundation on its own which is actually like quite light it's not a full full coverage which is what I would normally wear so the two products that have made this radical skin transformation happen are from nip and fab it's a serum and the acid pads and honestly whew, my skin has been looking the best it has in ages I can't rave on about these two enough literally amazing and as soon as I get paid you know Nip and Fab getting more of my money next up is the copper glitter from NYX it's the glitter that I'm wearing today and it is just dreamy just look at her she glitzing she glamming I am wearing this glitter today and I've also paired it up with a product that was in last month's favourites which is the NYX Warm Neutrals palette, it's one of the ultimate palettes. Girl, just look at this warm eye. Totally glam, totally affordable. Enough said. So my favourite lashes of the month have been Girls With Attitude Mermaid Lashes, which are the ones I'm wearing right now. And as well as that, I've been loving Vixen Lashes from NYX. They're the ones that are like super wispy on the ends. I really really love wispy lashes sometimes they can be a little bit thin but I like to stack them because I'm a drag queen so because Kat Von D has officially launched in the UK I thought this would be a good time to talk about my two favorite palettes the shade and light palette and the shade and light eye palette if you watch my videos regular you would have seen both of these palettes a million times this is the original shade and light palette this is the one that is for your face and this is for highlight and contouring and then this one is the shade and light eye palette which is obviously for your eyes so it might seem like a bit of a pain spending just a little bit more money on a palette but when this has lasted me already a year and a half and I'm only touching pan on one colour I'd say that's defo money worth spending same goes for the eye palette as well I mean this colour I literally use as a base every day I am kind of touching pan a lot on it now but again I've had it a year and a half and I abuse it every single day. So last but not least are the NYX Full Throttle Lipsticks. I'm actually wearing one right now. This one is in the shade Nightcrawler. They're matte lipsticks, ordinary matte lipsticks but once they're on they dry similar to like a liquid to matte and they just set and they just do not come off and they're also waterproof which has kind of transformed me into being obsessed with only liquid to mattes to kind of being obsessed with normal matte lipsticks now as well 
I've had these for a while. I actually got these from the launch party that me and Penelope went to a while ago. And Nick's gave us like this insane goodie bag with everything in. And these products were in there. And I've, honestly, I just never really picked them up because I never really use anything other than liquid to matte. So because they were the feature this month at work, I thought, you know what, I best give them a try. And as soon as I put them on, I was just like, I have been missing out. These have been in my drawer all these months and I didn't think to pick them up. If you're into liquid to matte or you just really like the finish of a liquid to matte, these will give you the same finish but with kind of a bit less dryness if I'm honest because we all know liquid to matte can make you feel a bit bum on lips. That's it, I'm all out of favourites. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching, bye!